I'll never forget when I had shingles. It was tough. It was on the right side of my body. It was like a stripe. It burned. It itched. It was really uncomfortable when fabric touched it. I actually had to keep it covered underneath my clothes and my white coat. And then I got these vesicles and they were so irritative. And actually the burning and itching lasted for a while afterwards. Uh, it was about 10 years ago. I just started uh, my new uh, working in a new office. I'd moved. So there was all this stress, which we know can be a risk factor for shingles. Guys, we're talking about five uh, myths about shingles you need to know know about, by the way, uh, shingles is caused by the virus that causes chicken pox. What happens is you get chicken pox. The virus that causes chicken pox actually stays in your body, hangs out there, just sort of hangs out. And at other times in your life, it can reactivate uh, along the nerve in the form of shingles. That's right. Okay. Um, it can be burning, itching, uncomfortable, etc. It usually is on one side of the body and then blisters occur. So five myths. The first myth, you can't get shingles more than one time. Well, uh, that's actually kind of false. It's rare, but you can get shingles more than once, believe it or not. Okay, keep that in mind. Myth number two is that shingles is contagious. Well, it's not actually contagious, okay? But there can be risks to be around somebody with shingles, okay? So if you have shingles, when I had shingles, I couldn't necessarily pass shingles onto someone else. However, if someone else was around me who had not been vaccinated against chickenpox, had not had chickenpox themselves, um, was pregnant, it's a high risk uh, condition, right? Um, or was immunocompromised, they could potentially get chickenpox from having been around me when I actually was infected with shingles. Weird, I know, but that's the thing. So if you have shingles, you need to stay away from those four groups of people, pregnant, immunocompromised, not been vaccinated against chi uh, chickenpox, um, and, and uh, people who have not had chickenpox before. And by the way, those of you in those categories, stay away from people who have shingles because you could get the chickenpox if you're around them. Myth number three is that shingles cannot be prevented. Well, this is wrong, y'all. It can. With what? Ah, a vaccine. The shingles vaccine. Write in the comments, number one, if you have had shingles, I want to know, and what your experience was like. Number two, if you've gotten the shingles vaccine. My parents actually just got the vaccine in the last couple of days, by the way. Um, so this is the thing with the shingles vaccine. It is super important, okay? It can help prevent shingles outbreaks. It is indicated for people over the age of 50 years old, okay? That is super important, guys. If, you, if your doctor hasn't talked to you about the shingles vaccine, y'all need to be asking them, okay? Super important because shingles is no joke. And maybe I'll do more videos on shingles because there's way more to talk about. This is just like top level stuff and like the common myths that I wanted to bust, okay? Very important. Myth number four is that there's no treatment for shingles. Mm, not quite. Mm -mm. We don't have a cure for shingles, but we do have antiviral viral medications that you can use when you get shingles. You want to get treated as soon as possible. So if you think you have shingles, you need to be talking to your doctor and figure out what to do anyway, okay? But there are antiviral medications that can shorten uh, the duration of shingles, meaning it can last for a shorter period of time and lessen the, um, the, the, uh, the symptoms that you have. And by the way, ooh, I remember when I had it, I was like, ooh, ooh, it just burned and it itched and it was irritated. Oh, it's not so good. Myth number five is that it only lasts for a couple of days. Well, if you're lucky, it does. Um, but the truth of the matter is it can actually linger for a little while. And truth, uh, truth be told is what really can linger is the after effects. There's something called post herpatic neuralgia, meaning that even I've had patients with really bad cases of shingles. So they get over the acute attack of shingles. But even though the lesions have healed, etc., they still have a sensitivity in that area. I had a little bit of that for just a little little period of time after my shingles um, episode, where even though, you know, it's all healed, you still feel sensitive in that area. It still might burn or itch or feel um, sort of unusual, okay? Sometimes people get pain or itching or burning for years even. It's very possible for months, weeks afterwards. So, so yes, um, yeah, you know, usually it's relatively, relatively short-lived, but you can still have the after effects for a long time. Guys, let me know. If you've been through any of this, I'll do more videos on shingles if you want me to. I think this is really important to, to, to know about. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I'm a practicing family physician and on-air health expert and video creator. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. I do daily videos on all sorts of stuff. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell for updates, please do. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.